I got surgery in two days. It's, I don't know if anybody has noticed before. Probably, probably not. You definitely will notice now, but I have a lump on my neck. Nothing glamorous about it. Can't really hide it. Unless, you know, I switch to wearing turtlenecks full time, which I'm not exactly opposed to, but it would be nice to be able to wear t-shirts. Today is Tuesday. Nope, it's when Monday. And my surgery is on Wednesday. So, yeah, I'm just gonna take you through the whole journey. Um, hopefully up until I'm recovered. I don't know why I have this. I don't know um, how this happened. Yeah, I'm totally, totally clueless about that. But basically, uh, in January, my sister noticed that I had a lump on my neck. It wasn't this big then. It was like pretty, pretty like unnoticeable. I didn't notice and I look at myself every day in the mirror but um she noticed it and we were like oh my goodness what is this what's going on and honestly i was convinced that i had like a thyroid like issue because i at the time i was having a lot of symptoms that were really similar to uh hypothyroidism like fatigue and like i'll insert the symptoms I was having a ton of those so I was doing my own research and I was like you know I definitely have this I've got a goiter I that that was that so we went to the doctor and we did some blood work and thing and the blood work came back and it was all normal and so she, my family doctor she was like it's a cyst we guess because your thyroid's fine um, and then we were gonna get it drained do an ultrasound, get it drained, and then COVID happened. Me and my family decided not to get the ultrasound right then, just because the cases were going up so much. So we decided to wait, and then come end of the school year of my first year of university, we decided that it was time to go get it checked out. So we did an ultrasound, and you know, everything was confirmed. It was like a cyst on my throat, on my thyroid. And then she recommended once we got the ultrasound, um, if it is like confirmed that it's a cyst to get a fine needle aspiration. So we booked that and we went and he was like, the stuff, the stuff is too thick. So he can drain it. And I was like, great because I was so ready to get this out because it was getting bigger and so he said that we couldn't he couldn't drain it and that I'd have to go see a surgeon so we went back to my family doctor and she re referred us to an endocrinologist um after a couple weeks we went to see him and he was like yeah you don't have thyroid cancer or anything like that it's benign I didn't even know that I could have gotten cancer like, so I was really thankful about that, and he was like, you know, the only thing we're probably going to be able to do is surgery. He referred us to the endocrine surgeon here, um, and yeah, everything was set to go to see him and talk to him about the whole situation, and then come August, my neck started hurting so bad it was really painful um it was like over three days i think it was it just the pain was just getting worse and worse and worse um i couldn't sleep i couldn't do anything for those three days then we decided to go to the emergency where this was august i think middle of august 
So we went to the emergency and I was in like a lot of pain. It was not fun. And this, I'll insert pictures. This was like so big. It was really scary um, and it hurt so bad and it was so hard. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I don't even remember what happened there, but they did my blood work and they said there's no sign of infection or anything like that. Um, it's probably just inflamed. And so we were like, okay, but it hurts a lot. And they just gave me Advil and Tylenol, which didn't help. It still hurt. I couldn't sleep or anything. And finally, we actually got to see the doctor that I was um, supposed to go see, the surgeon that I was supposed to go see. So we got to see him and he was like, yeah, you're, you're going to have to take out your um, right thyroid, which, I mean, I was like, not very happy about that, if I'm being completely honest. I was like, what? like, it's a cyst, can't you just like drain it? Don't they have bigger needles or something? Apparently they don't. So he got me to sign like the consent forms and things like that. And then they just sent us home. I was still in pain, the whole reason why I went there in the first place. And we went and saw like my family doctor from when I was a baby. Like this isn't the same doctor that I, it was my family doctor before. But we went to see him and he examined me and was like, yeah, it's infected. So we're gonna put you, I'm, I'm sorry, my mom's blow drying her hair. But he said, we're gonna put you on antibiotics because it looks infected. And that was the only thing that got the pain to go away. So I'm assuming it was infected. Yeah, we did get a couple, we got a MRI done and another ultrasound again, just to confirm that this was what it was. Like this was a cyst and not something else. And yeah, so there we are, here we are now. Um, surgery. So it is the next day, even though I'm still in my pajamas, but I'm just trying to find the things I'll need for tomorrow. Um, like toiletries, just getting that organized. Um, like my face cream and like lip balm and small things. And then also I need to figure out what I'm going to be wearing there and the like extra set of clothes that I'm going to bring when I'm leaving, I guess. I don't really know if I will end up actually changing twice, but it's better to be prepared. So I need to find that and yeah. is kind of worse than that um, from the anesthesia but I'm feeling better now still a little nauseated but it's manageable
this one. Hi. She's really cute. But yeah. My birthday is tomorrow, so it's kind of sad. But it's okay. This is what the scar is looking like. just got ready for my birthday dinner. Um, we're having everything at home, uh, but I still wanted to look cute. Um, yeah, I've hid my stuff under this birthday gift from a very dear friend. Thank you, Ellie. I love it. Um, and yeah, we're just having a pretty chill night at home. Um, I do still have dizziness, uh, but it's not really nausea anymore, uh, which is good. I can deal with the dizziness, um, but yeah. Sutra, does it suit you? Your velvet dress is slipping on. Would you stay? So it's been almost a week since my surgery. Um, honestly, like, I feel pretty good. I'll get nausea here and there, but overall, pretty good. Um, my incision site is really firm. I don't know, and it feels bruised. Um, I don't really have to take any pain medication or anything anymore, which is nice. Uh, this tape um, can be removed pretty soon here. I'm just going to wait till it comes off naturally. And yeah, I have an appointment to see my surgeon in like three weeks or something. So yeah, I don't know. The weird thing though is like with the anesthesia, um, I think it's because of that, but my skin is so dry, like all over my face mostly and like my scalp and stuff, but it's also so oily. Which is like really not that nice and I don't know why that is, but I'm hoping that'll go away soon. Also, nobody tells you about the constipation. I had, I didn't go to the bathroom for probably like five days after my surgery and it was not a fun time. I'm just gonna leave it there, but really, you should take a laxative if you can, or ask for one or something, because... It's been about, I want to say, closer to seven months since I had my surgery. I did get to go see my surgeon for a follow-up appointment and yeah, he said my scar looks good. It will lighten up and flatten out as it heals, which is nice to know, but honestly I'm not like, I don't really mind the scar. Yeah, I have a couple of like thyroid issues right now just like hormone imbalances and stuff so I do have to go get another blood test done just to check up on that but yeah if you're going through something similar 
I think my biggest advice to you would be to have some patience and faith and I think if you have that in any situation you can get through it but yeah I just want to say thank you um, for sticking around and watching you know my whole surgery journey I guess and yeah if you enjoyed which I hope you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one take care when you spoke to me But everyone needs something I know that I'm no different Swore picket fences Meet your parents Cast your 